Hello there, Michaelers. How is everyone doing? I hope everybody is doing fine. We are having a true winter here in California. Um, and it's been cold. That's why I got a, a, a turtleneck. I got my butterfly uh, um, sweatshirt and I got another sweater on because <laughs> I got a lot of things to do today. But I, before I started getting my weekend together, I wanted to go ahead and share a few things with you guys. Um, make sure on YouTube, YouTube audience, make sure that you subscribe. And um, I, I, I've, I've added some products, but I got some good stuff to share with you guys. So stay tuned. Don't get impatient. I got some good stuff. But first, um, I need you guys, please, to support Stays All Day Shea Fragrance Body Butter. You go to uh, Shea Butter Perfume Store. I'll get you there. SheaButterPerfumeStore.com will get you where you need to go. And I want to show you guys that I have added in some uh, a whipped shea butter in jar, and I've added in jars, but the whipped shea butter does come in jars. That's what it's going to separate. The pouches for now are going to be the mixed, and the jars are going to be the uh, whipped shea butter. So let me show you guys. This is my website right here. Stays all day shea. Dot com. I also bought the Shea. I also bought Shea Butter Perfume Store. So here they come in these cute little jars, and this one happens to be whipped patchouli. Okay, and then I have Poozy Mature that's based on uh, Juicy Couture, and I have Magician's Dust, which is Egyptian musk, uh, and I have Bougie Silky, which is. Um, Gucci Guilty smells most like Gucci Guilty. I have Darf Bracar that's it's men's and it smells more like Bracar Noir. And let's see what other ones I have. I'm gonna make some more whipped, okay? I'm gonna make some more whipped. I also have Oh My God British Weed, which is really a Creed Green Irish Tweed, which is a very expensive men's uh, cologne, but I have it in whipped and I have the small and the large. Okay, so you guys, please order some stays all day Shea fragrance body butter. Plus, my number one female smell is my Coco Chanel and Flowers Blasting. Um, and also an another favorite is Coco Chanel, Flowers Blasting, and the ones that I just mentioned to you. That's why I put it in whipped, all the ones that I just mentioned. Um, also, a Dore Cherry. Oh, my God. That's Christian Dior Cherie. Um, Go Go Channel is Coco Chanel. Uh, Flowers Blasting is Flower Bomb. You know, I can't use their names, but it smells most like those famous fragrances. Obsession. I have it as Possession. Possession. Uh, 10 billion. If you like a vanilla y smell, um, that's a good fragrance, unisex. Um, I have, you know what? I got two Michael Joes. So, um, um, I, 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 I how am I going to tell you guys who bought the first two? But the first two people, I have two Michael Joes, which are, uh, the fragrance for Michael Joe and then Sing on Sock is doing really well. It's called King on Pop, King of Pop. I call it Sing on Sock. So the next first two orders, I'm going to give you a free uh, Michael Joe. Okay, free Shea Butter Michael Joe. So order stays on, stays all day Shea. And the first two orders that I get after that, just two, and I'll put it on my website when the two are sold. Um, 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 uh, Michael Joe, I'll just give it to you. Okay. Because, you know, I can do that. <laughs> All right. Because you're Michael fans. So I like to always do things for Michael fans. Do you guys know that I still give, uh, the free magnetic butterflies in the orders of the, uh, Alive docuseries, um, DVDs? I still put in the magnetic butterflies, right? All right. So anyway, so staysalldayshay.com or SheaButterPerfumeStore.com will get you to the website. Make sure you order. And the proceeds are going towards um, making of a live five. So I'm still trying to get to a live five for you guys, but it's getting closer. But still, we got a ways to go. But still, every inch towards that 
is every inch towards that. And I'm working on another project, hopefully for you guys too. All right, so now let's get to the Michael Jackson info. Okay, so last time we had bombshells, right? Michael's death is an alleged incident that happened on an alleged date that happened to an alleged person. <laughs> people call me crazy, okay? No, I'm not. The other people that are leaders in the fan community and they have blocked me, they prefer Michael dead, okay? Because why wouldn't you check on Michael? Why wouldn't you go, you know what? It's been 13 years, she's still talking. Let me see what she's talking about, you know? Let me just see. Why don't you check on Michael? Or if you don't check on him, in my opinion, you prefer him dead because the way that you close your eyes to something means you don't want to see something else. And how could Michael being alive be a bad thing? How is Michael escaping all the bull crap that he went through? Okay, be a bad thing. He gave us 45 years of his life. He started entertaining people at age five and then he faked his death at age 50. So for 45 years of his life, he gave to us to entertain us. And then we, oh, well, he wouldn't do this to his family. His family knows they've been given death clues for years, including Prince Paris. And then PG finally got into one death hoax clue with Prince. Okay. Um, uh, his whole family leaving death hoax clues and everything. Okay. I found Michael Jackson. He's Peter Michael Bobby using Bobby Anderson as a front. I've given goo gobs of proof of that. And I'm getting ready to go into that too. Now, remember when Catherine was going, uh, uh, was, uh, going shopping for the sleeping bags, uh, the Saturday, cause the death announcement came midday. Okay. On Thursday. So Friday. And then the next day she's in Target, uh, shopping for sleeping bags. Okay. Let me, let me just show you guys. Here it is here. Okay. Catherine shopping for, I'm getting ready to go somewhere with this. Okay. Catherine shopping for sleeping bags in Target. Target. I go into, I've been in that Target many, many times. It's the one, I believe is the one on Sepulveda. Okay. In uh, Sherman Oaks. And uh, this is the Target that's closest, the Target, <laughs> that's closest to uh, her house. Right. It's not that far away. So, her son dies two days before and she's out like a regular old day shopping for sleeping bags, right? Shopping for sleeping bags, right? Not mattresses for Prince Paris and Blanket to sleep on, but sleeping bags, right? Sleeping bags. This is on the 28th. All right, sleeping bags. Here she is. Does she look like she's a uh, morning to you or just a regular day at the store? Regular day at the store. Regular, regular old day at the store. Okay, this is her son supposedly, supposedly died two days prior and she's discussing sleeping bags. She's shopping at Target like it's just a regular old day with Trent. Just, you know, shopping for chicken sleeping bags. Okay, there he goes right here. All right. So is that her? I don't know if that's her or not. Let me see. Oh, there she is. There she is. That wasn't her. Okay, that was just in this Hollywood TV dot TV footage. Okay, there it is. She sl that's what they said that she was slop she target uh for sleeping bag Saturday night. Okay, this was the 29th, which is the Sunday, the 28th. I I'm just saying, okay, now. Who slept in sleeping bags? <laughs> Michael, right? Michael slept in sleeping bags, right? Michael slept in sleeping bags, right? So here it is. Um, let me show you guys, okay? Because I remember in the 2005 trial, they kept talking about Michael sleeping in sleeping bags, sleeping bags. He'd get on the floor, the kids would sleep in the bed, and he would sleep in sleeping bags on the floor. He'd make a big pallet like sleeping bags, sleeping bags, right? So here it is. I didn't make this up, okay? So here it is right here. Um, Jackson explains he slept on the floor in a sleeping bag. Okay. Okay, so if Paris, Prince, and Blanket were just, you know, there, there are places that you can go and pick up mattresses, okay, that you can go and get mattresses. You can just get mattresses, okay? You don't have to wait for them to be ordered or anything. 
You can just go there and you see, uh, order some mattresses. You can take them with you, okay? Or they can deliver them the next day, okay, uh, mattresses. So in the Big Havenhurst house, there was enough bedrooms for Catherine to put mattresses for Paris, blanket, uh, Paris Prince and Blanket. The reason why I believe it was sleeping bags was as a wink, wink, nod, nod that Michael was sleeping at her house. Number two, because Michael had a bad back and the harder floor is better for a back, back issues. And Michael had back issues. I saw him, uh, you know, straining in the court when in the 2005 trial. Okay. Now, now, before the death announcement, fans told me that Michael was spending a lot of time in a camper trailer that was parked in the backyard of the Carrollwood house. Catherine had a camper trailer that Michael bought for her. Now, what I'm thinking is that Michael and the kids were sleeping in the camper trailer, okay? The mobile home camper trailer, okay? And um, let me see, Catherine, Catherine Jackson, I got a lot to get to, I got, I, and I got mobile home, okay? And they had an insurance company um, uh, um, that was named the same as the motor home that was in some of the, um, oh gosh, a uh, motor home trailer that was in some of the, see, I'm doing so much and I got so much to say, say, um, that was, um, the name of the trailer is in some of the insurance papers for the Michael Jackson estate. Okay, because that was part of her assets. I didn't have time. I didn't plan on going there. But I also believe that uh, I'm trying to find where is the name of her camper because Michael bought it for her. So I believe Michael was practicing. And and also, you know, who else was in the, 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 the trailer in the back? So were the, the security. That's where they would stay um, instead of staying in the big house. Okay, so if the kids were still going to stay with Michael, and he was in the camper because he can't be in the big house because the big house people are coming and going this, that, and the other. And, um, uh, you know, you don't know when somebody's in the house, when they're not in the house, it was just too big. It's too much to control. So Michael would be in the camper because you can lock that door. Okay. You can lock that door. <laughs> right. And you know, if somebody's in there or not, right. Cause it's small. Right. So that's what I believe. I believe Michael and the kids stayed in the camper that was parked on Catherine's Haverhurst property. And that's why they needed sleeping bags. But Catherine going out for sleeping bags two days after the death announcement? Come on. Come on. Plus, plus, plus everything, 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 everything else. Oh, more. Okay. Now, another thing. Uh, they talked about in Michael's 2005 trial, they talked about Michael and his pornography. Girl on girl, heterosexual, no male homosexual no child pornography was there, okay? So Michael did not show an interest in male-on-male -male sex, and he did not show an interest on grown-up and, and uh, kid sex. He had interest in girl sex with girls, okay? Some, you know, if you buy a boy magazine, a girly magazine, you're going to find a couple little girl things going on, right? But... Um, that and, and, and heterosexual sex is what Michael was interested in, okay? Now, you know why Michael picked uh, Ola Ray <laughs> to be in his video? Because he has seen her in the Playboy. Her, he saw her Playboy centerfold. That's why he picked her, okay? Ola Ray Playboy, Playboy centerfold. That's why he picked her. That's why he picked Ola Ray, okay? Now, um, I can't, I can't, it was 1980, okay, was the 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 year that Ola Ray was in, featured as a, let me, let me put this back here, Ola, that's why Michael picked her, because he had seen her in Playboy, okay, and there's a little video somewhere, I didn't pull it up, of Michael as a kid looking through the girly magazine too, okay, um, um, there's a video, you guys seen it. Um, but I'm not going to pull that up, but let me put, oh, come on. I'm trying to do Ola Ray here. <laughs> okay. Ola Ray. Okay. I'm not going to show you the picture because she's, that she's topless. Okay. But I'm going to tell you, here it is. Playboy magazine, June, 1980 vintage center for Ola Ray. Okay. So that's how Michael picked her 
to be in the thriller video because he had recognized her from the Playboy that she was in. Okay. All right. So that, you know, so let's be clear. Michael's regular heterosexual guy. Okay. That likes women. Okay. And, uh, and we have nothing. That's why he kept, they kept not finding anything because they couldn't find anything homosexual about Michael Jackson and they couldn't find any child pornography or DNA or anything like that. None of the words coming out of people's mouths. Okay. So we got that clear. Um, the black history month was a nice black history month. Uh, LeBron James broke the all time record, uh, number of points for the NBA regular season and Beyonce won more awards than anyone else. And so it was just a nice couple of big giant wins uh, for Black History Month. Ron DeSantis trying to get rid of black um, history and uh, tell us to shut up. We're just supposed to take it. <laughs> We're just supposed to take racism, not say nothing. And we don't want to talk about the real history of America because white kids are going to feel bad. Oh, but it's okay for black people to think that, you know what, we're we're losing economically, we're in the ghettos, um, just because, because something's wrong with us. So black, you black kids, you feel bad. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not well thought out. So Ron DeSantis is not for me. All right, um, let's see. Uh, oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Phillips, Latoya's ex-boyfriend, ex-manager, partner, uh, you know, he got caught with a whole bunch of Catherine stuff because they stayed at the Carol Wood house from June 25th to Independence Day, July 4th, right? Nine days, right? And uh, apparently he had kept all this stuff that he had from the house, including the driver's license, which the coroner lied and said he had. And that's how he named and identified the dead body, which he couldn't have done because Jeffrey had the driver's license. Okay, Michael's last driver's license. And TMZ posted the public uh, information about the driver's license that said Michael's name is Michael Joe Jackson. Okay. So anyway, so now there's a lawsuit where the estate is trying to get all the stuff from Jeffrey. So apparently, you know, Catherine's 92. She's going to be 93 May, right? May 4th. She's going to be 93 May 4th. So apparently he needs to get a deposition from her, a statement from her. And people aren't liking it, okay? But what else is he supposed to do? I mean, gosh, you know, he in a dilemma, right? You know, and Jeffrey, Latoya wouldn't have been with a heartless, cold, cruel person for 20 years. Um, from 95 to 2015, if he was that, that cold. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know. Something's fishy with that whole story. I haven't figured it out, but I haven't checked that much lately. All right, now let's get back to... Peter Michael Vavi. Let's get back to that kind of stuff. And then I got some other stuff that I'm going to go through with you guys. Peter Michael Bobby. Okay. So you guys know that the King Tut thing. Okay. Let's do King Tut. Oh, 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 oh before I do that, before I do King Tut, um, Lisa Marie Presley and Michael's marriage was fake. It was illegitimate. It happened out of the country, just like Michael and Debbie Rowe's marriage happened out of the country in Australia. They're not legitimate here in the United States. Okay. Um, Lisa's wasn't legitimate, period, because of the laws of the Dominican Republic says that their marriage was illegitimate, right? Um, and I went over that. Watch a live three for that, please. Okay. I, I just can't keep going over that. But I had heard for a long time that uh, Lisa and Michael um, had their honeymoon at, at Trump's hotel. Well, the hotel that they were at was really the resort Mar-a-Lago, Mar-a-Lago, Mar-a-Lago in Florida, right? That's where they supposedly sent, spent their honeymoon. Now, I had read before that there was a secret exit, okay? Secret exit. Okay, now, I've never been mad at Lisa Marie Presley. You know why? She's one of the women that have been in his life that I never saw that she got a benefit from. No, no significant benefit, no real money. Yeah, her name got to be a little more powerful only because, you know, um, she was hanging around with Michael, King of Pop, King of Rock and Roll's daughter, you know, that whole kind of thing. Okay, Stephanie Mills, I know she said Michael wanted to enter the white world. And so, you know, for he got with Lisa for his career and she ain't lying. It was for his career because people thought he was having sex with little boys. OK, and so he got with Lisa and she agreed to it and she was there for him. So I ain't never been mad at Lisa Marie. And I understand King of Pop, King of Rock and Roll from a publicity standpoint. 
I understand that, right? I understand. But their marriage was not real, okay? It was not real, okay? And I don't even think the family members know it, but I know it based on laws of the Dominican Republic at the time that that ceremony took place where he didn't kiss the bride. That's why he had to kiss her on MTV. I think it was MTV. That's why he had to kiss her, right? There. Because people go, how can you kiss the bride? Well, because... Uh, Keo, Danny Keo, who was her real, Les, Lisa's real husband, her brother was there to chaperone, okay, and, and make sure nothing happened. She fake divorced him, right, and then within weeks married Michael, but you're supposed to be divorced for 10 months. It was illegitimate everywhere. The, the magistrate was, you know, a outside of his own jurisdiction, and it was just, it wasn't real. Okay, so, um, but I've never been mad at Lisa Marie. I, and bless her heart, rest in peace, girl. Okay. Now, uh, about the Mar-a-Lago and the honeymoon. I had heard that there was a secret exit. Proof. <laughs> Proof. Okay, that they didn't spend two weeks inside of the hotel and didn't come out and didn't order room service because they left through the secret exit and they went back in through the secret exit. And here it is right here. Okay, Mar-a-Lago has underground tunnels. New book on Giuliani's traffic, tragic fall discloses. Okay, the tunnel is one of the many, long, many little known passages of rooms beneath the expansive resort. The secret route allowed the couple to come and go from Trump's home without the media knowing, okay? Now, when he became president, they had to block that off. Um, Bloomberg's Jason Leopold notes that the tunnels underneath Mar-a-Lago are actually part of the public record. Though the Secret Service presumably locked them down after Trump was elected president. That's how, I'm telling you, that whole thing was publicity. Okay, not because Michael was a secret homosexual child predator, not because of that, because he was in a jam. People thought that he was a gay, gay kid, a gay person who wanted to have sex with little boys. That's what they thought. He was a pedophile. He's like, no, I'm not. Michael called Lisa through John Bronca. Lisa called through John Bronca to check on Michael. Boom, they got together. They decided they're going to do it. And was gonna, he was going to help her with her career. And she was going to help him out of a jam. She was there for him. She was there for him. But their marriage was not real. And, and, and people need to stop lying about it. You know what I mean? They need to stop lying about it. And just come clean with the truth, Michael. Gosh. That's how they got out of and went into Mar-a-Lago, okay? The secret tunnels. And I had said that Michael had secret tunnels somewhere and people said I was crazy, okay? There was, I don't even remember where, but I think it has something to do with Peter Michael Bobby secret tunnels. There's secret tunnels. Secret tunnels exist. Secret tunnels is not some kind of wild thing. Secret tunnels exist. That's how the, the Mexican drug lords got a whole bunch of drugs into the USA through secret underground tunnels. They're real. It's a real thing. Okay, it's a real thing. All right. So we got that one. Finally, I finally found that. It was in my head like I need to show proof of that. I need to show proof of that. Boom. There it is. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to get to Peter Michael Bobby. I am. I'm going to get to Peter Michael Bobby. Okay. So, uh, we talked about Peter Michael Bobby, right? And we talk about him all the time. And you know why he don't call me on my other phone? Because he's afraid that he's going to give up his location. Like he did uh, when he called me those two times. My phone ring. Uh, Los Angeles CA. <laughs> Los Angeles CA is what my phone told me where the phone call came from. LA. So he don't want to call and be on the phone because he thinks it's going to give up wherever his location is. Not that he doesn't want to go on live with you guys or with me. And Michael, I swear, when I bought that phone, you were on the phone with me. When I went and bought the phone, I swear to God, I was not that smart. 
I was not. I'd like to say I was. To pick a phone that would give your location of the caller, I wasn't that smart. It just so happened to work out that way. It just so happened to work out that way. You guys go back and look at my videos. And I didn't even catch it the first time. I didn't even catch it. I think the second time he called, I caught it, where it says Los Angeles CA. So what's Bobby Anderson doing in L.A.? Just saying. <laughs> Peter is Michael. Bobby is a front. Okay? They're the same person. Okay, so anyway. So I went and, and researched more of the King Touch 777, right? It's King 777 Touch, King Touch 777. Michael would play with it, right? Front back is not Michael. He's just a copycat. He ain't, he's part of Susan's BS. And that's why she thought I was doing some BS. No, I, no, I wasn't. Okay. She was playing with time codes. What color is Catherine coming on? Then she played with a time code on Twitter and played with that. And, and so it was like he was predicting what color Catherine will wear when all she did was set back her time because she was outside of the country. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. I don't play those kind of games, okay? I don't play those kind of games, okay? I want the truth. I seek the truth, okay? I am motivated for 18 years because I want the truth on Michael Jackson, okay? Now, uh, here's something here that I found kind of interesting that I had saved, okay? Run escape, okay? People say it's runescape. Michael liked it because it says run escape and that's what he did. Okay, that's why he liked it. Okay, uh, run escape, rune escape player was King Touch 777, appeared publicly in the video uploaded in 2007. Michael's username was King 777 Tut. It was made public in 2005 and they never said Michael was a run escape player. Okay, during the fought thing. Uh, my conclusion was Michael 777 Tut pre-2005, but they never said he used the username to play a Run Escape. The Run Escape player, King Tut 777, from 2007, named Andrew Anderson? Was it either just a fan or just another wannabe, not Michael? This is Michael playing games him the Bobby Anderson back in 2007 how could that be a coincidence with the Anderson there I'm just saying okay and so of course he's going to switch it up from King 777 Tut to King Tut 777 he going to do this but this is way back in 2007 two years before the death announcement Andrew Anderson the Michael Jackson uh the Michael Jackson 2005 trial was not televised okay so Peter Michael Bobby has been thought to be Michael Jackson for years before he contacted me in 2012, January 15th. But this is just more to tell you that this is Michael playing games. Okay, this is Michael and, and, and literally games because RuneScape or Run Escape is a, a, a game. It's a, it's a literal video game. Okay, just saying and then Andrew Anderson. Bobby Anderson back in 2007. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, and people think that that's, that's Michael for years. And then he opens his Twitter coincidentally the day before the death announcement. Miss me with all that. Okay. January 15th, the whole rare pearl. And I mean, come on. Okay. As if I'm supposed to forget all that stuff happened. Oh, you going to go see Latoya, Brenda Ritchie, Jeffrey. Hang up the phone 10 minutes later, five minutes later. Go in there, Brenda, Latoya, Richie, and Jeffrey right there, like he said. Okay, I, I, I'm plus a whole bunch more, plus 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 a whole bunch more. Okay, so anyway, so that's just more. Okay, that's just more. All right, so there's more here. There's more here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to some more. Okay, we already went over that one. There's more. Hold on. There's more. Okay, Ramon Bain. Yep, Ramon Bain. She uh, was Michael's first, his, his spokesperson in 2005. And then he promoted her to his manager, right? And then Michael needed to get rid of everybody, okay, before he faked his death. 
So he got rid of all of his manager, all the loose ends. He fired all the managers in writing. Ramon got a check for almost a half a million dollars. Uh, he fired Frank Delio. He fired Tommy Tome. He got rid of everybody. So all the loose ends were, were, were handled. Plus he owned all his properties himself. Okay. So that there wouldn't be anything murky of anybody trying to steal his stuff. Okay. Um, um, and in, and in the will, it said, don't give Debbie Rowe nothing. And then it also says, I have purposely omitted to provide for my heirs and don't give Debbie Rowe nothing. Okay. He's letting people know. Okay. All right. So Ramon had sued Michael after he paid her, her almost half a million dollars and uh, closed the books and fired her. Then she said, uh, uh we got some loose ends. He still owe me some money. He still owe me some money. So day before my birthday, 2005, May 5th, she filed a lawsuit. Okay. Against Michael saying he still owed her money. Right. And one thing that she mentioned in that lawsuit, oh, and then I found another $20 million that Michael got in 2006. So between 2006 and 2008, oh, no, nine, nine, 2000, Michael had $70 million. Uh, no, not counting the loans. I'm talking about cash, cash. I'm talking about cash, cash. I'm not talking about the refinancing of the Bank of America with Forestress and Citigroup. And I ain't talking about that money. I'm talking about the cash that came in his pocket. So in three years, his cash was $70 million. And we know he didn't pay off all his bills because we saw all the bills that were collected then. And Ramon even said he was when he got that loan for, uh, what was it, total of 25, here it is. He got a loan for 25 and 16, which is 41 million. Then he got another 20, 41 uh, 5161. And then he got another 10 from, uh, Sony for the Thriller 25. So over $70 million. That's cash, cash. Okay. In cash. And he was supposed to pay $16 million to pay off his debt. He didn't. They never recouped that money. You know why? Cause Michael's living off of that money. Okay. But boom. Here's a statement she made. Jackson's interest in producing films, film projects directed to Pharaoh. King, wait, Pharaoh, Tunk, Ankh, Ankh, A-N-K, Living Dead, Amun, King Tut. So he was, remember I told you guys he was do, trying to do the, 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 the movie King Tut? It was for the Ankh symbol, Living Dead. He's looking for all these symbolisms, life after death, Living Dead, blah, blah, blah. Well, there it is right there, the lawsuit with Ramon, saying that, yep, there's there it is in the writing, that he was going to do the movie King Tut, Okay. So, yay. Okay, now let's get to Peter Michael Bobby. Okay, now that I done got that out the way. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I ain't done. I ain't done. I ain't done. I still got more Peter Michael Bobby stuff. Okay, so here we go. All right. So, we went over this last time, but there's more to it. Thanks to Joni, my friend Joni. All right, so Peter's name here. X-E-O-N-E-S 100, right? Right? So he said, I play run escape. He didn't put rune and then capitalized escape. He wants you to know run escape is why he was interested because he liked those words, okay? Sometimes when I'm bored, if you play it too, you can add me, King Touch 777. Okay, this is in 2013. Then front back 777, he went ahead and he named it after him. This is all after he did that. Uh, King touch seven, seven, seven. Okay. So, um, but anyway, he, he's, he's a fraud. So don't pay attention to his, his BS. All right. So, uh, run escape, but this name right here still has me a little baffled. X E O N E S 100. That's a weird name, isn't it? Isn't that weird? It's so weird that, uh, let me, let me, where is it? It's so weird. Oh, I thought I had saved it. Okay, let's do, let's do it. Let's do it again. Prince Rogers Nelson. Let's go back to that. Prince Rogers Nelson case file. Okay, let's go back to the Prince Rogers Nelson case, case file. All right, here it is. And this guy who says Prince didn't die on Cecil's birthday, which is April 21st, 2016, he said Prince didn't die that day, that he's really Prince. And his name is Orlando 
Orlando. Here we go. I'm telling you, this is just too crazy. Okay. This is his name. Orlando, E-N-O-E-X, which is the exact name, the exact Peter name minus the S. Now, the S is very, very, thank you, Joni. Joni was so smart to find that. The S is very, very interesting because it's missing the X, right? The S right there, okay? X-E-O-N-E-S, okay, is was Peter Michael Bobby's name. Okay, let's go back to that real quick, and I'm going to show it to you again. See? It's exactly spelled backwards except for there's no S, right? There's no S. Right, so let's go back to the prince, right? Right? And Orlando, whose name is Orlando? Isn't it Orlando? Everybody's Orlando, missing the R too? It's missing the R and it's missing the S. Well, uh, I think that leads us to a clue. Prince Rogers Nelson. So Prince, Prince's middle name is either Roger or Rogers with the S. So this guy does the same thing, but he is missing the S and the R. So it's leading us to, I know this sounds crazy, but Michael be trying to leave clues and think somebody can't find him. Or he's like challenging, you can't find this pearl. Yeah, Boom, boom. You and I are connected some kind of way because it's weird that I found this. Very strange that I found it. It must be some telekinetics or something. Seriously, because I found that. I mean, how could uh, it, it really be this weird name here, missing the R, and then Peter Michael Bobby using that same name, but with the S in Prince Roger and Rogers is an S, right? Let me let me let's let's move on. Okay, so this one, he he named himself Rogers, but in another statement, he says his name Carver County uh, said, "Fool, get out of here." Okay, you know, you ain't Prince Rogers Nelson and none of yours is based in fact and you just tripping, right? So, um, hold on. Um, So there was another thing that he did and one of them had the S in it, right? Had no S and then had an S, okay? What was it, Joni? What was it? It was something else that he had done and it did not have, it had, it didn't have the S and the other one did have an S. Okay, this one, let me keep looking. And then this one is an S. And then he did something else. And there was another document. And it was supposed to uh, not have the S in it. Uh, let's see. Uh, there was something else that he did. And he put, took the S out. Okay, out, out. Because... Prince was born Prince Roger Nelson. Then he went all crazy because he was mad because they were stealing his work and he wanted to own his work. So he decided to change his name to a symbol. And then after after that was just couldn't pronounce it, right? A symbol. It's unspeakable, okay? A symbol, which was weird because Michael put Prince's signature on the Michael album or Kadir Nelson, the artist did, okay? And Prince made him take it off. That was kind of a little weird. But, uh, and then Prince, apparently when he got married, he names himself Rogers with an S. Let me, let me, and then it says from here on out, his name is going to be Rogers and Prince's um, U.S. passport, Prince Rogers Nelson passport. So they tried to do the name, the middle name game, but the middle name game doesn't really work with Prince because we have a legal form of identification with Prince's name with an S. We have the, um, we have, there it is, Prince Rogers with an S, Nelson. Okay, so we have his passport with an S to where with uh, Michael, there it is, there's a better copy. We all Michael's legal uh, identifications are with Joe, not Joseph. Okay, but we do have legal uh, identification of Prince with the name of Rogers with an S, right? So is that Michael playing?
game? Did Michael hire an actor to do that? Or Michael, he's not scared of the courts. You can file any paper you want with the courts. Okay, it's what you continue to do. If you file something with the courts and you miss a court date, or you, or or you don't follow up, it just goes. It just it it's stagnant. Nothing happens with it. When you file something with the court, you have to be active in the process of making it to trial, of making it to the verdict, of making it to the appeals. So the court is a self-reliant thing that you have to pursue in order to use the court system. So if certain things are filed, it don't mean that it means anything. It just means it was filed. But I, I don't know if Michael, you know, I, I Joni and I asked for a sign, okay? that Prince was alive or that Michael's alive, but Michael plays a lot of games. So he going to do this with Prince. Maybe I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sold that Prince is alive. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just not sold on it. I am completely a billion percent sold on Michael Jackson faked his death. Okay. Because everything alleged incident, alleged victim, alleged date, my God, <laughs> with the court system, my God. And nobody saw Conrad Murray come out of jail. I'm just saying. Okay, so Prince Rogers Nelson, and then if we look at Prince uh, Rogers Nelson marriage certificate. So when Prince changed his name back to out of a symbol, maybe that's when he made the S. That's when he made the, maybe that's when he made the S um, legitimate or whatever, but there's a marriage certificate, uh, marriage certificate, where it says that for here, forever out, this is your new name. Here it is right here. Okay, this is um, Prince Rogers Nelson. And here is the um, his marriage certificate when he married Maite. Okay, Mart Maite Garcia. And it says the names of the parties after their marriage shall be Prince Rogers Nelson, Maite Janelle Garcia Nelson. Okay, so that so that was the name change right there. Okay, so this was in ninety six. Okay, so he in as of ninety six, this was the name change as of ninety six with the S, because it says right here, the names of the parties after their marriage shall be Prince Rogers Nelson, Maite Janelle Garcia Nelson. Okay, so it's not really the name game with Prince because we we have it solved. But it could have been. It was they had me Joni and another guy, Dots, they had me for a minute. And then I was like, but you know, Pearl, you gotta you gotta double check everything. You love him, you trust him, but you gotta double check everything. And so I double checked it and 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 it's not the same. With Michael, we have no proof of any name change. And if a name change goes to the Department of Motor Vehicles and somebody changes their name. Okay. Michael plays the name game. Every single death document is in the wrong name of Joseph. Okay. And the coroner lied. And I want to do something about it one day. Okay. So um, let's see what else we got. Oh, let's continue with the name game. Okay. So I went ahead and I decided that I was going to Google uh, Michael Joe Jackson in books. Okay, Michael Joe Jackson. And then there's a place where you can look up hit books. Okay, so a lot of people know Michael's name is Michael Joe Jackson. Okay, so um, I went ahead and I put Michael Joe Jackson and I put books in here, right? So uh, where, there it is. Um, Big Daddy Joe, not Joe Jackson. Where is Michael Joe Jackson? I had, this came up before. See, that's why you got to save stuff. That's why you got to save stuff because I had it. And in so many books was Michael Joe Jackson. Okay, here we go. Um, here by Michael Joe Jackson in uh, The Man Behind the Mask, an insider story. Um, let's see. MJ, the genius, Michael, Michael, C. Michael, and that's not Joe Jackson, that's Papa Joe, here it is. Uh, Michael Joe Jackson. Uh, the real name is, I was told that his real name was Michael Joe Jackson. That's in another book of his. 
Um, let's see. Uh, Michael, uh, no, Joe Jackson, the Xbox. So you got to be careful with those. Uh, that with that gift, Michael Joe Jackson would touch and change the world. Michael Joe Jackson. Uh, here it is, another book, Michael Joe Jackson, right here. Uh, Moonwalker, they have that in there. Um, but I didn't see where they had, this is 2010. So there's other additions to it. So probably the 1988 edition has his real name in it. Okay. Oh, that'd be good to order the, who has the 1988 and see if they changed it in the 2009 version. Okay. And if they did, that'd be proven that they playing games, but if they didn't, it doesn't prove they're not playing games. Okay. Uh, it would just be one more thing. Okay. So we have all these. Ah, oh, let's see if I can find something in here. Uh, let's see if I can look up something in more. Let's see. Uh, I'll have to do, get some more. I have to do some more later. But anyway, so Michael Joe Jackson, a lot of books knows that his name is Michael Joe Jackson. This one um, by Howard, uh, by Dylan Howard. Uh, here it is, uh, September 70, Michael Joe Jackson. Here is some, uh, let's see, Michael Joe Jackson, the FBI story, FBI, Michael Joe Jackson. I already told you FBI confirmed his name was Michael Joe Jackson. And I don't know why I have to keep going over this over and over and over. Untouchable. Remember that book by Randall Sullivan, Michael Joe Jackson. Okay. Um, uh, so on verdict day, Michael Joe Jackson, remembering Michael Jackson. So a lot of people know that that's his, you are not alone. Uh, Jermaine, he writes that Michael's name is Michael Joe Jackson as seen on his birth certificate. Okay. Uh, um, here it is. Diane Diamond, Michael Joe Jackson, Jet Magazine, Michael Joe Jackson, um, let's see. Uh, yep. Michael Joe Jackson in the book I'm in. Me, Peter, Michael, Bobby, and I'm in the whole chapter, Playing Dead. Thank you, Elizabeth. Michael Joe Jackson. Uh, here's another book, Michael Joe Jackson. Here is um, Unmasked, Michael Joe Jackson. See, these people know that that's his real name, Michael Joe Jackson. Uh, Michael Joe Jackson. See? And it just goes on and on and on. Okay? Michael Joe Jackson. Uh, and then you look up Joseph, Michael Joseph Jackson. There's not as many, uh, there's not as many um, of, of, of them as they are for jo Michael Joe Jackson. But let's put in Joseph Jackson. These people just don't do their research. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. I put that in quotes. Here it is. This person don't do their research because his name ain't Michael Joseph Jackson. Uh, let's see. It's not as many. It's not as many. Okay. Michael Joseph Jackson. Uh, yeah, see, it's not as many. It's not as many. So all these people that think they write books on Michael, they know his real name. Here it is. Something Michael Joseph Jackson. This person don't know. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Yep, sorry, Geraldine. Oh, no, she's saying Michael Joseph Jackson Jr. That's Prince. Okay, so that's not, not Geraldine. My bad. Here it is. Uh, Michael Joseph, this person don't know. Um, let's see. See, it's not as many. It's not as many, guys. I'm sorry, I'm not... I'm holding the phone wrong. Uh, Michael Joseph Jackson, this person don't know. Don't do their research properly. Assume, you don't assume anything. Uh, this one is wrong. They don't know. Okay. Uh, this one here, they don't know. And um, whatever this is, they don't know. And this one is Prince, that's Prince. That's not Michael. And why Michael name and Prince his fake name? I'm just saying, always games, always games. Okay, so, and then Peter posted 
a new story. Uh, oh, and people wondering, why is the trust in another name? Well, the trust has to be in another name other than your real legal name because it's transferring out of you, the individual who is Michael Joe Jackson, and you are putting it in another entity, which he decided to call Michael Joseph Jackson. See, he plays lots of games, lots and lots and lots of games, the name game, right? Just like it's all in the name, it's all in the game, gates of heaven, right? <laughs> right? Living dead, because if you're going to heaven, you're still living in heaven, but you're supposed to be dead. I mean, it, it, and, and then Barry Gibb released it on the second anniversary of the death announcement. Uh, uh. All right. So here we go. Um, oh, Peter posted the story. Let's go to his Facebook. And he posted the story about this man who has been thought to be dead for many years, right? And I got to get out of here as usual. Okay, Peter Madani. Is that your page? I don't think that's your page. I don't think that's your page. Hold on. Let me find it. He posted a news story about this guy, right? And uh, and then somebody putting porno on Peter Madani, real king of pop page. It's a hater. Of course, it's a hater. And I'm getting ready to report this right now. Okay, Re report post. Okay, I'm. It's nudity. You know, it's just stop. Damn, the hatred is just unbelievable. God. I, okay, I just reported that. Okay, I just reported it. Will they take it down? I have no idea, and it's disgusting. You know, I you know I don't get online to see pornography. You know, that's not why I get online. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to, uh, how are you? I'm a follower of YouTube. Hi there. Okay, so somebody sent me a message. Okay, so now let's, let's do, uh, here it is, Peter. And I didn't be on this page earlier today. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is that news story? You guys all saw it, you know, the news story. Um, and how he posts also a story of how they can make real bodies and disguises and all that stuff. You know, of course they can, they can do all that stuff. And it's gotten better and better and better and better throughout the years. So there was the story that he posted and I, I just have to say this part. I just have to say it. I, I wasn't going to say it out loud, but I'm going to say it. Yes, I noticed you took the background out. I think the background out was like the house that I used to have that had the roof, uh, the roof that was similar to mine. And then now you took that background out. I'm just saying. Okay, so let's see. I should be there soon. Don't like that picture. Too feminine. Okay, and he's a great artist, just like Michael. How coincidental. Okay, so where is that? Uh, let's see, where is it? Where is it? That news story. God, I didn't know it was this far back. This is Peter Michael Bobby's page. Okay. Um, never saw that picture of Marlon before. Hey, Marlon. I hope you're doing good. I heard that they're, um, I saw a promotion on their official Jackson's page where they're, they're, they got another scheduled concert. So that'll be nice. Yeah. I, I wasn't going to say anything, but I'm going to post this. Uh, I think that's TJ. Uh, is that TJ Tosh Trails? One of three T. Look, this is pretty sexual. He was getting a lot of hell. And then Stephanie Mills, I got to talk about her too. Don't let me forget. But he was getting, a, he was getting a lot of hell because he's, wanted to check his auntie Janet and say she was over sexualized, which she was, but she has not been lately. She is all covered up. So I don't even know why that's a thing right now, but you got your nerve. Ah, uh, look at privilege hair. Look at that. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And then I'm going to talk about Stephanie Mills in a minute. You know, Stephanie Mills was getting a lot of hell because she was talking about Michael Jackson and fans didn't like it because she said that, Oh, I already talked about her. Because she said that Michael got with Lisa because, you know, he thought it would be better for business. You know, white people control everything. So, oh, here it is. Here's the story. White people control everything. And um, and uh, so he thought that that's how he could sell more records than Thriller. I, 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 before I do this, I'm going to stop. I'm going I'm to I'm stop that. I'm going to say this statement. Michael didn't know what the future would be. He was just numbers and all this other stuff. 
And I'm not saying that he caught vitiligo on purpose or nothing, but all I know is that everything that came out of Dr. Klein's office was a white Michael and Debbie Rowe with non-black kids. I'm just saying, okay? But, uh, you know, there's pictures of Michael with they don't care about us in Brazil, showing the vitiligo. There's a great picture of that Frank Cassio uh, with Michael on the phone showing his vitiligo and you can't permanently, oh, there's medicine. <gasps> there's medicine. I'm going to look that up. Don't let me forget there's medicine. Okay. But anyway, people got mad at Stephanie Mills. Stephanie Mills loves Michael and she supports him still. So give her a break. Okay. I like Stephanie Mills too. Okay. Cause she dated Michael back in the day, seventies and eighties. Okay. So anyway, um, here, here is the story Peter Michael Bobby posted about a guy widow in excess of $26,000 in child death, not a death, when it's in Ohio, seemingly, where a living, breathing man has been told that he remains legally dead and there is nothing he can do about it. After disappearing in 1986, owing, according to his widow, in excess of $26,000 in child support, Donald Miller has been legally dead since 1994. The same Miller. judge that previously declared him dead in 94 this week ruled that Donald Miller continues to remain just as dead, even though on this occasion, the deceased was standing in front of him in the courtroom, breathing and in good health. Okay, so let's talk about that. Okay, let's talk about that. Michael Jackson, um, Michael Jackson at any time can come back and go, psych, I'm alive. Okay, and he can be alive because all, every single solitary death document, without exception, is in the wrong name, is in his wrong name. So currently the only people with standing, they can go, that's not my name. That's not my real name. That's not who I am. Because Michael can call himself whoever he wants, but other people cannot, okay? So the coroner, he was supposed to get the name right and he lied. And I don't care who tells him, please write to the coroner and tell him that I called them liars. Because he said that he named and identified the body through a driver's license when Michael had 10 close relatives there to identify. Eight brothers and sisters and mother and father. Okay. But they're going to, they're going to, and, and, and fell asleep. And that's how you died, fell asleep. So there's nothing main that you can't see. They didn't see the body on purpose. Okay. Or legally, Dr. Murray entered the body into UCLA under the name of Soleshan. Blood work under the name of Trauma Gershwin. Okay. Comrade Murray refused to sign the death certificate, not because he didn't think that the body was dead. It's because he knew that dead body wasn't Michael Jackson's. Okay. That's why he refused to sign the death certificate at that time. He didn't have a crystal ball to know that he was going to go to trial and all this alleged incident, alleged victim, alleged date. Come on. Really? Really? But I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Right? When Michael has left, ooh, Goo gobs, gob goobs, goob gobs of clues to tell us that he faked his death. So I'm not like ratting Michael out. He wants his, he wants this to be told or he would have just disappeared. Like if Prince faked his death, Prince is gone. Quiet, nothing. Okay, nothing. Crickets from Prince. Okay, so if he faked his death, you don't want nobody to know. Okay, because it is weird that they cremated the body the next day. Okay, there's some weird stuff with Prince. That is true. Die for you. Die. April 4 is uh, four is the fourth month. January, February, uh, uh, January, February, March, April 4. You is the 21st letter in the alphabet. You. Die for you. And March 21st is when the death day. I mean, there's some weird stuff with Prince. There is. But I... I, I Prince should have left a will in the uh, trust as much as he wanted his, his, his property as, as his own, as much as he went through. And then you just going to say willy nilly, I ain't leaving a will in the trust. I'm going to fake my death, but I'm not leaving a will in the trust. It, it, it does make any sense. Okay. So, and if you are alive, you can control that. <laughs> you can control that if you're alive, right? You can control that a will in the trust. You can put it in an envelope, send it to the judge yourself. Okay. Anonymously. If, if that's what you wanted to do. If that's what you wanted to do. Okay. So I'm just saying there's ways if he was alive that he could turn in a will and a trust. There's ways. Okay. I don't think that that for that. And that's the main reason 
And why would Prince fake his death? He was making money touring and more worth dead, more than alive and all that stuff. That could have happened whenever he decided. He didn't have to do it right now. Okay. He could have, I'm just saying, I'm just not convinced with Prince, but I think Peter Michael Bowie is playing games without that S on that name where that guy says, yeah, I'm alive. I'm Prince Rogers Nelson and I'm alive. I didn't die. And in that weird name, minus the S, scrambled backwards because Chamilla, Michael. All right. So anyway, with this guy, okay, uh, Michael can come anytime and go, I faked my death. Um, uh, no, come say I faked my death because it's not against the law to fake your death. And Michael didn't, Michael didn't uh, tell the district attorney to put Conrad Murray on trial. Michael didn't sign any of those death documents. Okay, that the coroner did. Michael didn't go tell the judge, as far as I know, the alleged incident, alleged victim, alleged date. They found out that that body wasn't Michael. And to save face, that's what their legal system came up with. Alleged incident. <laughs> we don't even know what we're talking about right now even happened. <laughs> alleged victim. We're not even sure who the damn body is. And alleged that, and we don't know when that body died. But I'm the crazy one, right? Um, just saying. So anyway, so this guy in here, um, he, 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 none of that is happened with him. And legally, it's supposed to be in his real name or whatever. And so in his real name, he's trying to say, I'm alive, I'm alive. And they're like, no, you're not, because we have a legal document here that's saying you're dead. So you're dead. So now he has to go through whatever processes he needs to go through to undead himself. And he's probably going to have to go talk to a lawmaker, okay, um, Congress or the Senate or president or somebody so they can change the law or his state representative, if it's a state law, and say, uh, if somebody is uh, thought to be dead because they decided they wanted to disappear and start a new life, which you have every right to do. Okay, and you come back, you can undead yourself at any time as long as we prove through DNA and through identification that you're the guy that we have on paper that's dead. They have to, he has to change law. He has to change law. This guy does. All right, so um, there was something that I said I was going to get back to. What was it, y'all? Oh my God. See, that's why I hate jumping around. What was it? What was it I said I was going to get back to? I know I talked about Stephanie Mills. Um, Oh God, I forgot. Who 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 remembers? Come on, real quick, because I'm I'm I gotta go. Oh my God, it's three eleven. I have errands to run. I gotta go make some fresh shea butter. Um, you guys don't forget to go on stays all day shea, okay, and buy some shea butter, please. Okay. Um, you gotta be running out. Oh, one thing about shea butter. If you happen to get a uh, shea butter that's grainy. You know, the way that you can make it smooth and not grainy anymore is take it out of the pouch because the pouch is not microwavable. Take it out of the pouch, put it in a microwavable dish, melt it down to um, liquid, melt it, melt it down to liquid and immediately put it in the refrigerator for, you know, 30 to 45 minutes and let it solidify, let it get solid and then it's smooth. OK, so I had to learn that little trick. OK, or you could like the graininess because the graininess is more like a scrub. OK, it can work like a scrub and it also forces you to because all the little grains in the shea butter will dissolve. But you got to work it. You got to work it. You got to work it. So you can be doing great, um, great blood circulations by giving yourself a massage. And also you can exfoliate. It's a natural exfoliant, but you can exfoliate, which means you can scrub some of that dead skin off. OK, so just a little tip that I've been learning. OK, so uh, anybody? No, nobody, nobody. Uh, let's see. Uh, nobody knows what I was talking about. Well, I'll, I'll go back and listen to this later. But anyway, I think I got all my notes. Uh, I think I did all my notes. Oh, but oh, Michael couldn't predict the future of what was going to happen. He did, he didn't know that Thriller was going to be the height of all of his life. He didn't know. He thought he could soar higher and higher and higher. But no, he he didn't. He never passed the squeaky clean image of Thriller, the record sales, and the success of Thriller. No one has won more than eight uh, Grammys in one night. Still, thirty nine year record. Okay, um. Um, he, he was scandal free, pretty much scandal free and he was drop dead gorgeous. 
Okay. He didn't know at that time that that was going to be the highest that he would ever reach. He didn't know. Okay. Then the Pepsi burn. And we know that the Pepsi burn date was when everything started going down. Okay. So that's why he chose June 25th, 2009 as his death date is because January 27th, 1984 would be the exact middle date of his life. So he's saying he climbed, 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 and then he got to the tip top January 27th, January 26th, 1984, the day before the Pepsi burn and the Pepsi burn date, that day changed the trajectory of his life. And that's when he start, started declining. Okay, that's why he picked June 25th, 2009 as his death announcement day. <coughs> so he didn't know. He didn't know, you know, and and Stephanie Mills, you know, and let's let's just say for a second with Stephanie Mills that uh, um, Michael did say, you know what? I, you know, I don't like black girls no more. You know, it's not true. Because he always picked black girls to be in his videos. All videos except for You Are Not Alone with Lisa Marie Presley. Right? But the other ones. And um, did he did he hide that Grace was his girlfriend? I don't know. Paris said that, you know, Grace would act like she was Michael's wife. Uh, you know. And there were other nannies. Other nannies like Omar's mother was a nanny. So why was Grace a nanny and a nanny? I, 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 I don't know. I guess nannies have to go home too. So they got to be di different shifts of nannies. Okay. Um, but it would be sad and hurtful to us black women. If Michael said, you know what? Thank you, black girls. You took me this far. I don't need you no more. Little did he know that, yeah, you did. Because we're the ones that took you to your highest height, which was Thriller. And I am telling you guys right now, every single black person, black household, had that Thriller album. I'm here to tell you. Plus white people too, but I'm saying without exception, black people had that album because we were so proud of the Jacksons and so proud of Michael that if, if somebody said something bad about Michael during Thriller, it was kind of like, wait a minute. Uh, it was like saying something bad about Jesus Christ. Even though we're not putting him in that religious realm, but we're just saying you, you, God fearing you or Michael fearing, you know, because we love them so much. So Stephanie saying, Stephanie Mills saying that it was because maybe she felt she wasn't white enough and, or good enough for where he wanted to go in his, his life. And if she felt that way, then she felt that way. You know, that's how she felt, you know, and, um, but I've learned so much more about Michael that I don't believe that because if, if that was really true, he wouldn't have had all the black women in the videos from that moment on. You see what I mean? And then in 2005, not only did he have Hustler and Playboy, but he also had the girly magazine Black Beauties. So, Stephanie, that's not necessarily the truth. OK, uh, Debbie Rowe happened to be white because she did all kinds of stuff. Oh my God, what that woman did. <laughs> As his second wife, but he didn't marry either one of them. They were fake. So let's not, you know, let's kind of give Michael a little bit of a break. Okay. Um, but I'm not mad at Stephanie Mills. I really like Stephanie Mills. And I hope I was able to articulate what I was trying to say. I hope it didn't come out wrong. But Anyway, we love Michael Jackson and that that's that. And Michael faked his death. And sorry, Michael, I'm the black chick that uh, got your back, baby. And you know that, okay? But I also feel like, you know, you have my back? You got mine? Do you have mine? I hope so. All right, guys. MichaelJacksonInsider.com. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.